Hey guys, today we're going to be picking some fire alarm locks. I want to show you guys just how easy it is and how terrible fire alarm locks are because by no means am I good at lo picking locks. I can get some locks, but I'm not the greatest at it. So if I can open fire alarm locks, anyone can. So this should prove that uh, you don't need keys to fire alarms to get into them and they're really not secure. It's not like you can't buy fire alarm keys anyways. I'm going to start with firelight. All right, hopefully that spoke for itself right there. Locked back up, and now that is locked. Can't turn it, show you again. All right, do it third time. That time did take a little bit longer. Once again, locked up. All right, and it's not just pull stations, it's any firelight device. Let's uh, take a look at how easy we can get into this fire alarm control panel. The whole brains of the whole system. You can do anything to the whole system just from the panel. All right, there, there's access to the whole system and if it's a factory default password, which like most of the time it is, you've got you've got powers over that whole system at that point. Once again, that was not just a coincidence. That's locked back up. Locked back up. Now I've only got a couple simplex pull stations. But let's take a look at how easy it is to get these open. These can be difficult even with a key. They don't want to open right. Okay, sorry you couldn't see, the, see it there because uh, my arm was in the way, but I did get this lock open. I promise that it was very tough though. The simplex lock is so bad and sticky that it actually put up a good fight. This simplex lock is so bad on a good day it won't even open with a key. So it's hard to really say if this one is good or bad. Um, it's still a wafer lock like all the others. I'm going to say it's equal, equally as bad. This is just a key switch, but this should also prove just that these aren't very secure either. There's test, back out test. And you see these on enunciators too sometimes, so these are also terrible. All right, let's take a look at notifier. See how easy we can get these open. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's probably the same as Firelight as these locks actually actually work properly. Let's do that one more time. I'd like to try a newer simplex device that actually works on a good day, but seeing as it's simplex, probably none of them work well on a good day. Even in that brand new school, or a fairly new school in my district that we uh, test at every year, we've got problems with the, the locks acting up, even with a proper simplex BT. Come on, this guy's being actually difficult this time. There we go. All right, let's try a notifier panel. All right, notifier panel. Now it's gonna be exactly the same. I just wanted to show you just so you get the idea that a panel is just as bad as pull stations.
Now I don't have an EST pull station that takes a key, but I do have an EST uh, panel here. Now this is um, an EST product. It takes an EST lock. Here's your Cat 45. Here's your Cat 45 uh, fire alarm key. Uh, I think I've got another EST key on my fire alarm ring. Here you go, another Cat 45 fire alarm key. As you can see, EST. Keep in mind, I'm not good at picking locks. You know what, I think we had it sooner than that. This uh, lock's just so stiff. All right, well, how about Edwards? Let's take a look at this. Now, I know Edwards and EST, now I believe both, they both use the EST key, but not always. Edwards used to use this key, which was flat on one side. I've actually never picked an Edwards panel. Maybe I'll be surprised. This is a stiff lock though, so we'll have to put some good tension on it. Let's try it though. If I can't get this panel by raking it, Edwards has actually beat me there. I'm wondering if I can, if I pick it one pin at a time. If I can't get this panel by raking it, Edwards has actually beat me there. Wondering if I can, if I pick it one pin at a time. Kind of one way for a time, I should say. There we go. So I guess raking it doesn't work so well. I don't want to try that again because that took a while. But we got it. So Edwards is definitely the winner here so far. That one put up a that one put up a fight. I know it's not a fire alarm and many of them just use screws and not a lock, but I want to show you how easy security panels are. and do this without being in the way it's kind of awkward but there you have it show you one more time and while we're in here Let's try the key lock box. You know, the box that holds keys to an entire entire property. Surely that should be surely that should be a good lock, right? It's, it's a kind of stiff. It's kind of like the Edwards panel. It's really stiff, which makes it quite a bit harder. Oh, well, we got it open again that time. We got locked that time. There we go. All right. And since we're in here, why don't we do one more firelight? All right, guys. Well, that's all the fire alarm brands I have. I don't have any other brands of fire alarms with locks, so I can't really show you guys anything else. But, uh, if you enjoyed this video, gave it a thumbs up. And uh, if if you thought fire alarms were more secure than this, well, now you know they're really not a secure device at all. Any dummy with lock picks can pick them open pretty easy. All right, guys, any comments, questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.